What's up, YouTubers? I just got back from uh, going to my local antique mall, and I was able to find this beautiful 1990 score baseball card box for eight bucks. I tried to give them six for it, but they didn't bite. So uh, I've got this box to open up. I'm not going to open up the whole box on camera. I don't want a 30 minute video of 1990 score. And then at uh, another local mall last week, I picked up this cool official baseball card price guide from 1991. And I thought, what a perfect way to know exactly the current price of my cards. I got my price guide right here so we can see if I made a good purchase. So I opened up my book already and looked to 1990 score. Let's see. Should be close here. 1990 score. There it is. And we find out that 1990 score, it says, Score was the surprise hit of the hobby world back in 1991. After a mediocre 1989 showing, the 704 cards in its 1990 set surpassed the $40 mark before the All-Star break. Decreased availability due to a rumored short printing, yeah, right, drove the 1990 score prices up throughout the summer. One of the hottest cards in the set remains the number 697, a black and white reproduction of Bo Jackson's football baseball Nike poster, which shows him posing in football shoulder pads and toting a bat across his shoulders. Special subsets include cards of top draft picks from each team and a 13-card Dream Team set. The latter uses tinted photographs of top stars in tobacco card format. And card backs include one photograph tribute from famous sports writers. And Score's biggest error correction involves Ryan Sandberg's card. The initial card carries an on-front des designation of Sandberg as a third baseman, while the more common variety carries no infield position. And that's a highlight card, if I remember correctly. So, But there's a picture of the uh, Bo Jackson card we'll be chasing. If I can even get it on camera there without knocking it over there. There it is. And we got uh, Ben McDonald, uh, rookie draft pick. John Olerud, rookie card. Lloyd McClendon. It's a cool book, though. It does have a, a photographs of a bunch of cards in there. It's pretty neat. Todd Zeal, rookie. Robin Ventura, rookie there. Greg Vaughn. Don Mattingly. King Griffey Jr. Marquise Griffin, And Will Clark. So we'll leave that open there, and I can refer to my price guide for any of my cool pulls. Uh, obviously, the best card I can pull out of here is the uh, Frank Thomas rookie card, which goes for a buck or two on eBay raw even a gem mint copies 20 bucks because of how scarce these 1990 score packs are so we're already almost three minutes in and i haven't even opened a pack so we'll go ahead and open uh oh i don't know a handful of these we'll get to about a 12 to 15 minute video and we'll see how many we've got so gotta love the score poly bags from back in the day i have not opened score cards in a long time wasn't really a fan of score back in the day i did find these were readily available. I used to buy them at 7-Elevens in my local card shops, but not being a huge fan of them, I would was more likely to buy Donruss and Tops and Fleer than Score, but I did have a few of these. So let's get right into here, and we'll see what we pull. Right on the back there, we got Mike Davis, who I actually met before. I told that story in previous videos. And we got our little... Uh, Trivia, NL 1973. Yeah, I'm not reading that. All right, first card, Dan, please my sack. Blowjob Sirhoff, starting right off with the Brewers nickname, guys. Dale Murphy. I do like Dale Murphy. That's a good one. Joe Carter. Mr. Walkoff. Clay Parker. Doc Gooden, Cocaine Gooden, one of my favorite players from the first years I started getting into baseball. And we got my first draft pick card of Steve Hosey for the Giants. Don't remember Steve Hosey, and I was a Bay Area kid. Flash Gordon. I think he coaches somewhere now. Greg Jeffries. That's our cover boy box right there. Our box cover boy. <laughs> Andy Allenson. He was a rookie cup winner back in 87 tops. George Brett. That's a nice one. I don't have that George Brett card. That's cool. Gary Gaetti. A lot of my friends back in like 1988-89 said I looked like Gary Gaetti, so since I don't do a face reveal, that's what I look like right there. Julio Franco, who played for 20 more years after this card came out. Glenn Wilson, shades and no batting gloves, gotta love it. John Smiley, and Mike Davis. Alright, pack number two. That pack was decent. Got the George Brett, Joe Carter, Dwight Gooden. Not too bad. 
What else did I get? Is that it? Oh, and the Dale Murphy. That's right. Second pack. Chuck Krim. Louis Salazar. Straining fervorously. Steve Lyons. I always remember him dropping his pants at first base. I don't remember what year that was. Maybe 88. Carlton Fisk, Hall of Famer. Ozzie Smith, another Hall of Famer, back-to-back. -back. Pat Borders, ruining the Hall of Fame party. Eddie Zosky, failed draft pick. Doesn't look too happy there. Walt Terrell, Bobby Witt, Mr. Walk. Kevin Elster, Oil Can Boyd. Junior Ortiz with the Pirates. Tom Hinky, Pat Combs. Juan Gonzalez before the steroids. Look how skinny he is. I remember this card. I think I had a few of these. This was pretty hot way back in, well, probably from like 91 to 93 when he was uh, tearing it up, pumping the roids and winning MVPs. And Kevin Mamahat. Mamahat. I've never seen a last name with two M's. Except for Kevin Mamahat. All right. Pack number three. If I can open this poly crap. Yes, I got Hal Morris right there on the back. I think my price guy listed him for about 15 cents because he was an up-and-coming prospect. Fernando Valenzuela. I think he threw a no-hitter in 1990. Dave Magadan with the Mets. Jim Presley with the Mariners. I actually saw his 100th home run live on TV. Don't remember what year it was. Tim Laudner. Eck, Hall of Famer. Robin Yount, Hall of Famer, back-to-back. -back. Brent Main, not a failed first-round pick. He actually, uh, he might have played a decade in the bigs. Catcher, decent hitter. Mookie Wilson, Eric Hetzel, Greg Matthews with the cards. Tom Browning, he threw his arm out. You want to watch a video of him blowing his arm out, go to YouTube. and Well, you're since you're already on YouTube, you're watching this, and watch him blow his arm out, and his limp, lifeless body just collapses, and he just lays there. Looks like he got shot. It's pretty horrific, but I've watched it a handful of times. Burt B. Home Bly Levin. Mr. D.L., Eric Davis. John Randy Orton with the Angels, rookie. Scott Hemond, rookie, and Hal Morris, rookie. Hal Morris was actually an all-star, I think, with the Reds, maybe around 91. Won a World Series with the Reds in 90 when they beat the A's. Alvaro Espinosa with the Yankees. Andres Thomas with the Braves. Joe Harry Beaver. Hubie Brooks. Carney Lansford jiggling his bat. He had a good batting stance. Johnny Ray, my first uh, dream team, Bobby Thigpen, looking old school there. I remember these. Dream team. Mike Pagliarulo. Pasquale Perez. Curtis Wilkerson. Bob McClure. Carmen Castillo, another oil can, because if I'm going to get doubles with somebody, it's going to be oil can, right? Jose Gonzalez with the Dodgers. Sean Abner and Wes Gardner with the Red Sox. I'm hoping to at least pull one Frank Thomas draft pick card. I already have one, but I don't mind pulling rookies of Hall of Famers. Who would mind, right? Joe Migraine. Dewey Evans. Shit Lemon. Bruce Hurst. The Hawk. Andre Dawson. Mike Felder. Terry Steinbach, Dream Team. Look like he's got like Down Syndrome or something. I don't know. His face looks kind of retarded. Domingo Ramos, Dennis I Love Lamp, R.J. Reynolds, Larry Sheets, Always Eats His Beats, Dennis Rasmussen, Fred Lynn, Mike Stanton, Rookie, Charles Nagy, Rookie, and Chris Hammond, Rookie. For eight bucks, you, you, you can't go wrong buying a wax box of anything for eight bucks, honestly, except maybe triple play. From a few years back, I don't think I'd spend eight bucks on a triple play box, but anything junk wax for eight bucks, I'm probably gonna buy. Don Slut with the Yanks, Dan Gladden with the Twins, Ron Oyster, 
Shell, Claudel Washington, Paul O'Neill. Before he went to the Yankees, Will Clark has a good one. I like Will Clark. Mike Scott, Dream Team, junking the ball up. Mark Grant, Benny Santiago, Ron Darling. He does good commentary for baseball coverage for the playoffs. He's done a good job. Junior Ortiz again. Tom Hinky again. Damon, I found my thrill on Barry Hill. Rich Monteleone. Randy McCammett, rookie with the Giants, and Greg Vaughn, rookie. That was probably a uh, price at a couple bucks in my price guide there. I'm not going to bother opening it up. I already showed you the inside of it. All right, we're at the 10 minute mark, roughly. Open a few more here. Come on, it's full of Frank Thomas. Come on, Big Hurt. Give me the big squirt and come out of this pack. Nope, we got some MVP card, World Series card there. Jeff Treadway, Ryan Sandberg. That's not the uh, highlight card that had the third base designation. That was a, a different card, not the base. Sweet Lou, Randy, give me a mulligan. Otis Nixon, Danny Tartable. World Series Game 1 and Game 2, showing Dave Stewart and Mike Moore. That was before the earthquake. I think that was before Game 3. If I remember correctly, I was watching that game live in the Bay Area, and the TV shut off first because it hit San Francisco, and then it made its way out to Antioch, which is where I was. And it felt like my butt was like jiggling because I was sitting on the floor, and I was like, what the heck? And I looked at my brother, and he goes, got mad at me, thought I was accusing him of doing something. He was like, I didn't do anything. And then next thing you know, the whole house started shaking. Pretty freaky. Vivid memory I'll never forget from 1989 during the World Series. Kirk Gibson, Terry, don't call me a fool, John One Nut Crook, Hojo, so he fouled the ball off his foot or something, doing a little dance there, Gary Pettis, Don August, don't call me September, Jesse Orozco, John Castillo, and Jeff Robinson. All right. Let's see if I can see, is that, I don't know who that is, Lenny Webster. Lenny. Barry Bonds. pre roids just like Juan Gonzalez, all skinny. Jamie Moyer. He pitched like 23 or 24 years in the bigs. And actually, he holds the record for most home runs allowed by a starting pitcher in the history of baseball, I believe. Pete Incavelia. Jerome Walton. Fresh off his rookie of the year and good career that's going nowhere. Felix Jose. Edgar Martinez, Hall of Famer. Wade Boggs highlight. See the Ryan Sandberg highlight shows a third base designation down there when it's not supposed to have anything because it, otherwise it'd say third base right there for Wade Boggs. Franklin Stubb, Frank DePino, Kevin Romaine Lettuce, Tony Jalapena, Candy Maldonado, Hall, uh, Hall of Famer. I was a Hall of Famer for Candy Maldonado. I was a big fan of candy back in the day when I was a kid. Dick Thong, with the Phillies. I think I say back in the day too much. I need to ixnay that from my lexicon of verbiage. Joe Skal Skalski. Joe Skalski. I don't even know. Darren Fletcher and Lenny Webster. All right, we'll do a couple more here. That is Eric Anthony. That was a rookie card, probably worth some money in my price guide. Tom Bruno Nansky. Jose Akendo hated Jose Akendo. He was up there with uh, Chris Sabo, These guys that I hated. Akendo wasn't on Sabo's level, but he was definitely hated by me. Jerry Brown, the governor. Steve Buchel. Andy McGaffigan. Jay Howell, cheater in the 88 uh, NLCS against the Mets. Will Clark, Dream Team. That's a good one. Rene Gonzalez. Another Tony Jalapena. Another Candy Maldonado. Hall of Famer. Mike Fitzgerald, Mickey Hatcher, Frank Williams, Jack Daughtry, the singer Daughtry, before he uh, dropped the jack and started singing. Joe Oliver and Eric Anthony, rookie card. We'll open a handful more here. Hopefully pull a Frank. Jeff Treadway. Ryan Sandberg, Sweet Lou, Wade Boggs, Dream Team. It's a nice one. Greg Brock, Jay Tibbs, 
Big Daddy Rick Ruschel, Wally Joyner, Steve Sucks, another George Brett. I like that card, though. It's nice. Greg Walker, Glenn Wilson, John Smiley, Tommy Green around the ears, Delino DeShields, rookie, and Gerald Clark. Let's see. We'll just go ahead and open up four more, however long it takes. Fifteen minutes in. Is there anybody still watching? Anybody still give a crap about 1990 score or my videos? Marquis Grissom, yes, I pulled it, the rookie. Chris Sabo, yes. Get that out of here. And folks, Matt Noakes. Be dialing! Oral Hershiser. Spike Owen. I skipped somebody behind Spike. Pat Tabler, I was so pumped to get to that Nolan Ryan. I don't have that one, that's cool. A celebrating. Yay! We survived the earthquake. Bob Melvin. Coaching somewhere. Ernie Riles. Terry Muholland Drive. Alfredo Pasta Sauce Griffin. Tim Screws. Lloyd McClendon. Mike Dyer Need of Better Pitching. John Olrude Rookie. And Marquise Grissom Rookie. That's cool. I'll put those in my rookie box. Even if they're not worth crap. Brady Anderson. Oh, Mickey Weston. I got fooled on that one. Mickey. All right. Greg Freshly Minton. Tim Foley Artist. Eric King. Willie Green draft pick. Willie Green did not pan out because I'm pretty sure it's his only card. Harold Baines. Hall of Famer Harold Baines. Jose Uribe. I could sell that on eBay for probably, I don't know, 500 bucks since his 1990 flare goes for that. Massive uh, money laundering scheme. Rick Sutcliffe. Dick Thong again, because you can't have enough dick in your thong. Mike Jeffcoat. Terry Steinbach. Steve Finley. Jeff Kunkel. Good last name, Kunkel. John Scarudi. Tino Martinez. That's a good one. It's not his rookie, though. He's got, a, he's got some 89 cards, if I believe. If I believe. What the hell does that even mean? Bobby Rose and Mickey Weston. Two more packs. Who's with me all the way to the end? Bo Jackson, MVP, All-Star Game. First inning, he took Rick Russell deep to the tarped-off seats. Why was there even tarped-off seats at an All-Star Game? I guess they needed the pitcher backdrop. Tom Bruno, Jose Aquindo, Jerry Brown. These are all duplicates. Chris Bozio, he's a racist. He was a on a team's as a team's pitching coach, I believe, somewhere, and he's called one of the I guess, guys, it was a grounds crewman, some racial epitaph or something. Got fired. Anyway. Jorge Bell. Just added the G. Danny Jackson. Oh, sweet. Second to last pack, Frank Thomas. And that has some pretty good centering. It's about 55-45. I might not be picking it up that well, but it's pretty nice. Nice and sharp. Young Frank. Awesome. Followed up by Michael Jackson. Hee <laughs> hee. Kelly Down Syndrome, Bill Long, that's what she said, Mark Williamson, Andy Van Slick, Kelly Gruber, Brian Dubois, Todd Stottlemyre, and Bo Jackson All-Star card. That's him hitting the home run in the first inning. That's pretty cool. With unknown A's guy right there. That might be La Russa, because he would have been managing the All-Star game because they went to the World Series the year before. All right, last pack. That was cool. We got to see the Frank Thomas. And here are a bunch of my dumb nicknames and antidotes. Scott Cooper. Yes. I have not lost it. Mickey Weston fooled me. Not that time. Yvonne Calderon. Card sticking behind it. Won't slide. Dan, please my sack again. Blowjob Surhoff again. Back to back. Jeff Russell. Stormy Daniels Davis. Tom Candiotti. Dream Team of Ryan Sandberg, Nelson Santovania, Bill Spires, Darren Jackson, Pete Harnish, Mark Thurman, Bobby Thigpen, Larry Walker, rookie. That's pretty cool. Larry Walker. He might might be a Hall of Famer. He's a five-tool guy. The career statistics are probably borderline. I don't know if he's got enough of the career or the individual awards, all-star appearances. He had a handful of gold gloves. He might make it, maybe. Jason Grimsley and Scott Cooper will be the last card. So, 
Anyway, maybe I'll do a, a full box review after I finish opening up that, because I only went through about half of it. Still quite a few packs left. That's just one stack there, so definitely went through about half the box, though. But I did pull some good stuff. Got a nice stack of stars there. Did pull the Frank Thomas rookie, Olerud rookie, and you saw the rest of the crap. I don't need to go over it again, but uh, thanks for watching. And now I'll, I'll price all this out. I think I got a good buy for 8 bucks because I think the... Uh, John Olerud rookie alone is in here for like three, so I'm already like more than halfway to making my money back. So, all right, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.